What's up YouTube, Honeybee here, and this is a really important announcement for all of you competitive players out there that have been following Injustice 2, that have been looking forward to what's next when it comes to competitive Injustice 2. Well, we have been hit hard today with some really great news that was announced on Ed Boon's Twitter. He did officially announce that there is going to be an Injustice 2 Pro Series Season 2 happening and it is starting out with Combo Breaker happening at the end of May. So what we're going to do is we're just going to go over and look over some of those stuff together and I'm going to go and uh, talk about some of the stuff that I find really interesting about what has been announced so far. All right, so if we go ahead and look at Ed Boon's Twitter, it looks like he actually has a video that comes out with this announcement. I've actually never seen this yet, so let's go ahead and take a look at this together. I'm just going to go ahead and put this at the start. All right, let's check this out. The 2018 Injustice 2 Pro Series has arrived. Competitors from across the globe will battle throughout this summer until just 16 players remain. The top 12 players from the Injustice 2 Pro Series season, alongside four independent competition winners from Canada, Europe, Latin America, and a special last chance qualifier, will compete for their share of a $150,000 prize pool. It all comes down to this, the grand finals. Let's crown ourselves a champion. Follow the journey by watching the events live on the official NetherRealm Twitch channel. He's gonna go for it! Oh, 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 oh my goodness. goodness! Think you have what it takes to compete against the world's best? Visit Injustice.com slash esports for more information on how you can compete to win this year's Champions Cup. Oh, and there's the Alpha Cup Sonic Fox with that plate to become your first ever Injustice Pro Series World Champion. Injustice 2, the Legendary Edition, available now. Awesome. All right. So that's the trailer. That's the first time I saw it. Um, so if we go ahead and click on the link here, it'll show us this page over here. So this is actually the uh, Injustice 2 Esports page. It shows everything uh, when it comes to the second season of the Pro Series. So from what I've seen and from what we just saw in that trailer, um, they have actually confirmed that the way it's going to, to work out is that 12 people will be qualifying from the Pro Series uh, circuit itself, where another four people are going to be coming, um, looks like one guaranteed from Europe, one guaranteed from Latin America, one guaranteed from Canada, shout out to Canada, and uh, one guaranteed uh, last chance qualifier looking like it's only open to Americans. Uh, it looks like that's how they're going to break down who is going to be able to enter this. So if we look at this, we can see down here, these are actually all the events that are going to be part of the Pro Series Season 2. Um, if we compare this to the Season 1 Pro Series, it is definitely a lot less events. I believe the first Pro Series, it had a ridiculous amount of events. I know Versus, uh, versus Fighting was in there, uh, Absolute Battle, East Coast Throwdown, Summer Jam. Like They had a bunch of tournaments in there um, that is not going to be part of it this time around. So they definitely um, kind of trimmed the fat and, and just kind of broke it down to more major tournaments happening. It looks like the ones, there's going to be five of them. Combo Breaker, um, CEO, Vianality, which is interesting, that's in Europe. And then we have uh, an online qualifier thing. It's probably going to be, yeah, it's not going to be worth that many points. Um, and that's going to be for the West region of America. Then we have Evolution. What's interesting about this is that it looks like the pot bonus for Evolution is going to be 10,000. Oh, well. I actually just realized all of these are actually $10,000 pot bonuses. So it is actually a significantly less amount of money than it was in the first uh, in the first uh, series, or in the first season for the Pro Series. Because in the first season, it was $20,000 like for all the premier events. Now this time, it's going to be $10,000 instead. So they have definitely uh, had to pull back a bit with the budget. But it's still really nice that we are getting such a, a big amount of money uh, i know that evo actually for the past three years i think where they've kept putting fifty thousand dollars into evo this time they're doing ten thousand but ten thousand i'm not going to complain about it it's a, it's a great amount of money 
So that's what we what we have here, uh, and then also SoCal Regional. So there's five premier events um, going to be part of this for the Pro Series itself. Um, obviously, for someone like me, like it's very very important to me to be able to attend all these tournaments so i'm definitely i already was going to go to combo breaker ceo and evo but now vianality is 100 percent going to be on my radar i'm going to be looking into stuff for that and also socal regionals is definitely uh, i'm going to have to look into that as well and it looks like they have a they have an online european thing for points and an online north american thing for points i know that in the last pro series um, the European stuff actually didn't really matter that much because most people from Europe weren't really able to um, make it because they couldn't get the points. They couldn't travel to North America as much. It's really expensive for them. So I know that they're going to get a guaranteed spot through this. Um, I'm wondering if it's going to be similar to Hometown Heroes from last time where... Uh, if you competed in Hometown Heroes, like whatever you were doing in the Pro Series, it didn't matter or it didn't count or something. I hope not because I now we have the Northern Arena um, Elite Circuit for, for Canada. And I'm 100% planning to, to participate in this as long as it doesn't somehow affect that. So hopefully that's going to be fine. Um, but yeah, so this is looks like... Um, what is going to come down to this is the top 16 from the last season they decided to post that here so now instead of the top 16 points for the pro series season we're going to have a top 12 in points and then the remaining four the remaining four is going to come from these spots here so i'm guessing that if if you can do both then like for example whoever wins this um northern arena elite circuit i'm guessing if you win this and you're already in the top 12 then they'll probably either either give it to second place from this or give it to 13th spot from this i'm not sure how they would do that but that would be interesting um to find out but anyways it also seems like it, they said hundred fifty thousand dollar total prize pool so i'm guessing okay well i it, i'm not sure if the, the finals itself has that but either way these are going to be the tournaments that you definitely want to look out for and uh, plan accordingly to to see if you can make these if you're really interested in attending um, these tournaments for the pro series season two so yeah that's all the information that we have so far when it comes to the second season of the injustice 2 pro series i'm really looking forward to it and i hope you guys are as well i'll be posting a bunch more content as usual when it comes to just matches in general i'll be posting a lot of my online matches when it comes to these northern arena qualifiers so make sure you're looking out for that as well and yeah let me know in the comments below if there's anything that you're really looking forward to about this second season of the pro series are you going to be attending for the first time maybe you weren't in the first season but now you're really looking forward to doing it in the second season so let me know leave a like and uh, subscribe if you haven't thanks so much for watching see you guys later